Am I live? <laughs> Alright, let me see if my thing is up. Alright, good. Alright, so Bannon decided to no-show, Topher, so you gotta pick someone else. Bannon went cry, he said, nah, fam. I ain't putting over that young talent, cuh. You gotta choose someone else, Topher. Bannon, Bannon refuses, he's not having it. He's bowing out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We'll do Troy Myers. Sounds like a good match to me. Troy Myers ain't afraid. Troy ain't afraid of no ghosts. He's not a pussy. Troy Myers about to show this kid how it's done, son. Now this, this is a matchup. Fuck Bannon, dude. Nobody wants to see Bannon. Troy Myers, though, welcoming some new talent to the brand. Now that's some shit. That's what everyone wants to see. Bannon needs to recover from bludgeon killing him again anyway. He needs the rest of the week off. Troy said, there's a time to go to school. There's a time to go home. There's a time to wake up. There's a time to go to bed. And it might not be back tomorrow or the next week or the next month or the next year or tomorrow or fucking the next season. But it turns out he's coming back just a few short days later here for this bonus match on Reality Wrestling. As he welcomes a newcomer, the most recent signee to a Monday Night Fusion. Going to be the big Shane Thomas. I'm excited to see this kid debut. I've heard a lot of good things about him. Powerhouse bringing. Look at you see this 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 screen alone here. Look at those bulging veins. Those fucking gritted teeth. <laughs> All right, let's get things started as Troy Myers rushes his way down the ramp. Ready for action here, my friends. This bonus matchup. Still to come, we're going to see the United Kingdom in action taking on a randomly selected team. Our winner is going to choose who goes up against them. Troy Myers was on one hell of a streak. Ended earlier this week on Monday Night Fusion, though, when he teamed with DDB in a losing effort to Gluttony and Shane Scott. So now he takes on another Shane. Looks to get his luck back on track. Troy Myers, the vintage ender of all things momentum. Adopted that golden shovel from Randy Borton. Yo, what up, Vic? Finally, we're going to have Big Vic return, and I'm expecting a sexy new Andrew Briggs attire. You just missed Briggs in action with Sarasi. Took a loss, unfortunately, to the masked man. Good matchup, though. Sarasi takes the lead now. The Cyborg Invitational. What pick? 
The one of my dick? It probably is. I sent out a lot of dick pics, mostly to cops, so if he's sharing them with you, I, I wouldn't be surprised. He probably screenshotted it. As here comes Shane Thomas. A competitor known by most, competed in uh, other uh, federations you might be aware of. Maybe if you were a big fan of Image. Here we're in Image's, uh, I forget what he called it, EWF or some, something like that. Lately, he's been coasting around now. He found a home and see the best of the best compete. And that's why Shane Thomas has come here. Fucking nose is so stuffy today. Snorted too much coke. I'll be honest, I did buy drugs from Jeff Hardy. When, he, when we got that technical disturbance, he, he offered me drugs. I did take some. I'm not going to lie. Troy Myers, though, not backing down. Like I said, he's got that Randy Borton golden shovel in tow. He ain't about to put over that young talent, son. Troy Myers still relatively young in his own career. When did he debut originally last season? I think it was around... It was definitely after the Royal Rumble. It was after Absolution. I think he debuted around Purgatory. Or maybe maybe a little bit before Ascendance, I think, is when he when he first debuted. <laughs> Sorry, I had to mute my mic and blow my nose there real quick. Shit was getting too real. Shit was getting too real for me. All right, let's get back to the action. As I was saying, Troy Myers debuted around um, Purgatory, I'm pretty sure, competing mostly on live events. I know he was in the Slick Bee Memorial Battle Royal uh, at Ascendance itself. So he's been in CMB uh, about almost a full year. When Absolution comes around, he'll be nearing it. Troy Myers now aggressive pin attempt here by Shane Thomas. All that springboard by him showing he's, his, his, his athleticism, his agility. Putting that on display for us, proving he's more than a meathead. As he now goes for some sharp elbows brought down onto the chest there. As Thomas goes to the second turnbuckle. And Shane Thomas, though, he's obviously very ripped. Veins bulging out nearly every part of his body. He's pretty short. I think Troy Myers actually has the... Yeah, Troy Myers is actually a bit taller than him here. With that chrome dome glistening in the, uh, the, the lights here. But Shane Thomas, I think, he, I think he's 6'1". I'm pretty sure he's around there. Maybe I'd say maybe 280. 280's got Myers obviously very sleek to go with his height here. As Myers with the Troy Turner. Vintage Troy about to bury that talent, son. One, two, no, Shane Thomas. You gotta be able to get out of that one. Oh, but if Troy flips the switch, that might be too much. Ah, so he debuted, oh, so he debuted, debuted before up. So that showed near, nearly a year he's been in CMV. As he's got Thomas in his line of sights. But Shane obviously studying the tapes. No dummy. Realized what was coming his way. Able to deflect the kill switch. As now he just goes hard on Myers. I'm already impressed with this kid. We know I'm a big fan of Travis King, also a superstar of Monday Night Fusion, who's just a total package in my mind. He brings that strength, the agility, the, tech, the technical prowess, and, and I'm seeing a lot of that. And Thomas here as Shane looking to finish, but it's Myers now who's able to counter his big move and a pendulum backbreaker to follow through. Troy not giving up that easy, hooks the leg. Ah, oh, just a two count though. Myers with a net crank cinched in. Gotta wonder how Troy feels about not being involved in the third annual Cyborg Invitational. Obviously, it's full of a lot of newcomers. Johnny Sampson saying he wants some fresh talent in the main event. Troy Myers never had a world title shot. Never even had the contender match. He had had title matches in the past. Light heavyweight championship opportunity last season. Oh, here we go a second time. Could it be the charm? Counter! What a short arm clothesline. The power of Shane Thomas nearly taking Myers' head off there. Oh, and 
Troy in half. Will that be enough? The young blood shoots the half. One, two, only a two count. Brought up to his feet. Hook to the midsection. Hunched over in pain. Back elbow though. And now Shane Thomas. What's he looking for here? Wait a minute, cop. Thomas! Into the pin. One, two, three. And Shane Thomas with a successful debut. Troy Myers putting up a good fight. Certainly gave the newcomer a run for his money. Wasn't no walk in the park, but Thomas with a devastating jackhammer able to put Myers to sleep and get the three count here, marking his arrival to CMV. And here's what did it in for Myers. Shane Thomas able to counter a second attempt at the Troy Turner, and there's a massive spear nearly cutting Troy in half. When that wasn't enough to get the job done, Thomas resorted to that jackhammer, nearly put Myers through the damn canvas. Look at this. Thomas! That, that's my Marco impression that cop does, you know what I'm saying? Shane Thomas cements his arrival to CMV. Troy Myers rolling the hell out of Dodge. I am, I am, Topher. We are going to see the United Kingdom take on a team put together by our winners. All right, let's get some winners. We need two winners. <clears throat> see who's going to take on the UK. Griffin Drake and Richard Franco. George, I don't know who you are, my friend. Thank you for watching, though. I think you're a lurker, but we can't really have you as the winner since you don't know the roster. Never seen you in here before. There's Borton, though. Borton got one. You can't choose both. You can only choose one. Borton. <clears throat> Need two winners. Oh, whoops. Forgot we're in an exhibition. So they're not actually technically a team. All right. Borton and Suntan. That's quite a team. Got to pick some guys from Genesis to see who's going to take on the UK here. Enforce this dick. Tom Cat got him. Got him, coach. <laughs> I got him. Did you guys see? <laughs> I got him good. <laughs> Let's know it. <laughs> no. Let's know it. Know it. Know it. Yeah, Borton doesn't want to get buried by the United Kingdom. He's too scared. <clears throat> Anytime today, ladies. Huh. Bryce hurt? All right, Bryce and who? Who you got, Suntan? Who you rolling through? Silva? <clears throat> All right, so Sean Silva of Rise going to have Sebastian Vachon coming down to be in his corner as he teams with the light heavyweight champion. 
Bryce Hurt. Certainly a unique combination there. I'm excited to see Brennan X debut soon. Right, we're going to turn off entrances since I don't have the tags created in exhibition. <clears throat> oh, too late. I wasn't looking at the chat. Rex already had a match this stream anyway. He was on reality wrestling. Got a win over Nelson Jr. Did I put Bryce as the manager? No, I didn't. Did I really? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they have you pick manager last? That's fucking retarded. Don't worry, it'll load. Yeah, because that'd be dumb. We don't want Bryce Hurt out there randomly watching this tag match. Well, this is your chance if you want me to change the uh, guys still. All right, Griffin Drake. Big Franco. <laughs> Nope. I am retarded today. I don't know what's going on. Where's R in the alphabet? Huh? Alright, still Sean Silva. Ah, uh, please stop. Like, in my activity, I can't see the thing. Alright, put Bryce here. There we go. There we go. And then Big Sebastian in the corner. Now oh, we gotta go and make sure that's all good. Oh, we're not in NXT. Haha. <laughs> that's not where we're supposed to go. Alright, now we're ready. What up, Ahoosman? Lesnar? We don't have a Lesnar command. You did the, or you're just saying Lesnar with an exclamation point. What are you talking about, Gumble? I, I haven't updated it yet. He hasn't given me the, uh, or he gave me the, the images. I'm going to update it after the stream's over here. I didn't update it yet with the most recent ones he gave me. But uh, NGW, guys, if you are unaware, not a member of our website, at communityuniverse.forumotion.com, which you can get a link to in the chat by typing in exclamation point join. We are having a new show debut in CMV soon. Sometime next week, Batman predicts he's going to be going live with the first edition. NGW, though, a new developmental brand coming to the company. Going to be run, indeed, like I said, by good old Schmitty Boy, Batman. So that's going to be fun. Make sure you uh, follow him. I'm pretty sure his name is Schmitty9696. Just type that in and get him. And also, I don't think I don't think immediately following this, but maybe an hour, hour and a half or so after this stream's done, Big Cop's going to be doing his uh, Royal Rumble pay-per-view, so that should be fun if you want to check that out. But first, we're going to finish things up here as the United Kingdom take on the unique combination the leader of her eyes, Sean Silva, and the light heavyweight champion, Bryce Hurt, of course, with Vichon, the Frenchman of Rise, in the corner. Would expect Tito to be out here. I actually could have put two managers, but that would every time we do more than one manager, it slows down the game. It starts getting glitchy and it looks dumb. So Tito's taking a breather. Bryce Hurt trusts Rise enough for some reason. This is his first time in action since we uh, saw him win the title last week on Genesis, defeating El Jefe. While his career was on the line, he managed to clutch up. Tito, though, will be making his debut tomorrow night 
on Genesis against El Jefe. That's going to be an interesting match. Certainly the seven-foot-tall Tito against the, what, five-foot-something El Jefe. It's going to be power versus speed in that one. It's going to be interesting to see a lot of good matches on tomorrow's Genesis. Two six-man tags in preparation for cause and effect this Monday. Our second annual dose of the uh, pay-per-view. Six traditional elimination tag matches the Deadly Games Tournament. And, of course, Bob Luger defending his Alpha World Championship against the winner of said tournament and much, much more. And a tag to a Bryce Hurt now as the light heavyweight champion comes into a sit-out sidewalk slam. Sean Silva will be in action at cause and effect, joined by Sebastian Vachon there ringside, and Nikola Ivanovich, of course, as they will battle Kaiva, Randy Borton, and Bob Luger. Those three coming together to try to put a stop to rise once and for all, while Bryce Hearn set to defend his light heavyweight championship in two weeks' time at CMV's first ever immersion special event. That is indeed two weeks after cause and effect. Then it's going to be homecoming to wrap up the year before we start the road to ascendance in the build of the fifth annual Royal Rumble at Absolution. What is this, though? <laughs> what? All right, he just uh, killed it block to his ankle, though. Bryce are going to try to capitalize on this voodoo. The Hurricane Rana by Franco. In the United Kingdom. Season one of veterans. Former tag team champions, the second longest reigning tag team champions in CMV's history. The first, of course, tied between uh, hashtag trending worldwide and the Bringers of Despair seven month reigns each. The United Kingdom coming with five and second. Extreme conditions, though, closing out. They're currently at four. Come emergence next month, they will tie that uh, record if they. They're able to make it past Zach Cage and Nick Blake this Monday. As, oh, Franco just planted with that back suplex out face buster. Vachon causing the distraction, allowing his leader to capitalize. It is. WWE uh, 2K17 is a trial right now. It's not free to own, but there is a trial for a couple of days. You can play it for free. Boston Crab currently locked in by Richard Franco. Sean Silva able to survive it, though, and escape. Touched on it a little bit earlier in the stream. The United Kingdom answering Josh Wolf's open challenge. Last week on Genesis, seemed like they were about to use their numbers game to jump the newcomer until Zach Peterson and DRH came to the rescue. The numbers now in their favor. Got a kingdom back down, not before getting a cheap shot off, though, as Franco slapped Peterson. Obviously, leaving that counter on a sour note, no doubt. They'll be looking to hook up in the future. United Kingdom looking for that momentum after they lost out on a tag team title opportunity. They challenged extreme conditions at Regicide. Oh, and there's Sean Silva with the SOS. One, two, just a two count. Obviously, the United Kingdom has the tag team experience here and this encounter. Season one veterans, like I said, competed way back when the original NXT ended up capturing gold while they were un unmatched. Sean Silva leads the stable known as Rise. I don't know how these two got put together, but they're working pretty well thus far. Sean Silva gonna bring things to an end with that small package driver. Oh, he almost does, but Fr Franco able to show off some of his his resiliency, his will to survive as Bryce Hurt just killing Drake there. Now thrown to the outside, feeding him to Sebastian almost. But Sebastian knows if he gets his hands dirty, and might cause a disqualification. As Drake and the light heavyweight champion duke it out. Nice springboard leg drop by Sean Silva. You're more than welcome to put a superstar on the show. Super, all you got to do is join our website. You can type exclamation point join in the chat to get a hyperlink. All you got to do is register. 
Post your calls, hashtags on our waiting list, and we'll get them as soon as possible. As Sean Silva with the SOS, the second time nearly finished. You gotta think it would've been over if Drake did not interfere there and save his partner. As Silva lets out a mighty roar, he has been dominating Franco. He's got to make a tag as Richard, but it doesn't look like Silva's going to let him back to his feet. Oh, double push. He has the opportunity. He's great at this. Instead, he taunts. What an idiot. Should have made the tag there while he had the opportunity. Instead, he panders to the audience. Now he's going to pay for it. Maybe not. Kick to the gut by Richard Franco. Closes it over the top. Oh, and the fireman's carry back and forth. They go tip for tap. Reversal fest. 19 I up here. European you know, up against the ropes. Goes Franco. Puts him right in Drake's dick. Oh my goodness. And now what's this avalanche? Sean Silva got a big guy. That's still 200 pounds something going out your neck. That can't feel too great. Sean Silva back into the ring now with eyes to finish and bring this tag encounter to an end. Second time is the charm. Small package driver into the pin to seal the deal. Can Bryce Hurt stop Drake? No, he can't. Makes the save. Richard Franco just suffering at this point. He has got to make a tag, something fierce. Bryce Hurt too slow, other wall. Oh, Sean Silva now bringing Franco to his feet. Looks like a future shock is in Richard Franco's future. The punishment though, Franco's just getting killed right now. Sean Silva unleashing all of his anger, all of his aggression, all pent up towards Kaiva, Randy Borton, and Bob Luger on Franco here. They better save some of their thoughts, cause and effect though. Mishinoku driver, vintage match enter here in CMB. Will it beat up to end this match? One, two, no it will not. Franco busted wide open, blood trickling down his forehead. Drake trying to help out his partner a little bit. Keep his team alive. Running Bulldog. Referee begins the count on Griffin here. Got to be careful not to get himself disqualified as Sean Silva doesn't seem to care anything. I don't think, has Bryce Hurt been legal in this match? I don't think so. If he was, only for like a minute, maybe less. Sean Silva taking too much time, taught, and it's going to backfire on him. Leg drop, back of the head. Oh, I got hiccups, my bad. Oh, Vishon, you better be careful. Vishon nearly interfering there, and now Frank only going to turn things around. What a comeback this will be for the United Kingdom. What is this? Billy Goat's curse, an inverted Boston Crab, if you will, essentially does the same damage. Serious pressure put on the spot. I've never seen Franco go for this before. He has got it locked in tight, but I don't think Silva's gonna tap. No, he doesn't. He's instead able to escape. Franco should have taken that opening to tag out. Instead, he tried to finish, but it wasn't enough. Silva not injured enough for our smash. Hand punch back and forth they go man just not giving up trading blows one after the other as Franco Russian leg sweep I don't know why he's not tagging in Griffin man as the smaller more agile and athletic of the United Kingdom goes up high sees that Sean Silva's been in the stir though changed his mind doesn't want to take the risk gotta tag in Drake at the powerhouse in here not a comeback I don't know what Richard is doing, man. Sean Silva tries to close it up. They're countering the scoop slam attempt. Now what's this? The neck breaker, it looks like. As Bryce Hurt has hardly gotten his hands dirty in this match. Sebastian and Sean causing a distraction. Or at least trying to here. The referee's not buying it, though. Goes for the count. Oh, bulldog to Bryce Hurt. What a... Once again. <laughs> well, this is exhibition, too, you got to remember. So they're not actually a tag team. They don't have that tag team expertise going on as they normally would in the CMB universe. This is an exhibition. Just to break kayfabe for a minute. Beautiful head scissors whip there by Richard Franco dropping down to one knee afterwards. Again, going to taunt the CMB universe. I, I don't know what, I, I can't even fathom it. Oh, maybe this is why if he gets Sean Silva locked in that Billy Goat's curse a second time, he might have to tap, guys. He's got it locked in. Billy Goat's curse in deep a second time. Why isn't Bryce helping him? Sean Silva taps. <laughs> Bryce Hurt didn't lift a finger in that damn match to try and help out 
Sean Silva instead of letting him tap out. What a comeback for the United Kingdom. What a win. Bryce Hurt didn't give a fuck, man. I knew that team wouldn't work. I knew the Eagles would be too big to coexist. Bryce Hurt was in the ring probably for not even a minute. And then here comes Richard Franco locking in the Billy Goat's curse a second time and just watches as Sean Silva writhes in pain and is forced to submit. There it is right there. Silva forced to tap out. The United Kingdom with a much needed victory for themselves. <clears throat> a lot of dank matches this season. It's going to be tough for me to choose five for the Glammy Awards which are nigh upon us. They will be posted on the website immediately following cause and effect this Monday. So if you want to vote for your favorite superstars, your favorite matches, all that good stuff, the fourth annual Glammys will be posted sometime next week. But uh, thank you all for joining me. All the newcomers, Sammy there. Where was that other guy's name? Fucking, uh, where's old boy? Explicit. And everybody else who joined in, I hope you certainly stay around. Had a good time chatting with you. Again, if you have superstars, you're more than welcome to join. Check out our website, communityuniverse.4motion.com. That's where you go if you want your call on the show. All my past episodes of CMV, all 307, going to be on my YouTube channel. A link to that is on my Twitch info section. And uh, <clears throat> remember that tomorrow night is going to be Genesis on its new night of Friday. That's the go-home show. A lot of great matches there. You're not going to want to miss that. Not streaming cause and effect on Sunday because of WrestleMania. It'll be on Monday. You certainly do not want to miss that. So make sure you follow me if you are not yet so you get notifications when I go live. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>